Am I the butthole for kicking my friend out of my house after what she did? My, male 36, wife passed away two years ago. I have an 11-year-old son named Sean. I'm doing okay with money. I have a stable income and support system. I have a friend named Kate we've been together since we were kids. She's like a sister to me although she tends to boss me around. She's introduced me to her female friends hoping that I'll settle down again. I told her I have other priorities and I'm required to focus on Sean and his health, he's diabetes. Kate thinks there's something wrong with me but not everyone's circumstance is the same. I started noticing a pattern in her behavior after she introduced me to a friend of hers. She'd tell me to leave Sean at home when we hang out and meet her friends. She'd tell me to take down any pictures that have my son and wife in it because ladies will assume that I'm a single dad or still married and that'd limit my chances in dating. I told her to knock it off. And she said that she was looking out for my social life s. Aing I'm ruining it and exhausting myself. I stopped talking to her for days. Then I decided to let it go. She's been insisting on bringing her friend to visit me with other friends. I agreed to have them as guests. Kate suggested I take Sean to stay with a relative since it'll be adult dinner but I refused. He was comfortable in his home and didn't want to go. Kate was at my place before her friends arrived. I checked on Sean and told him to tell me if he needed anything before he went to sleep. At 12.30 while I was sitting and just starting to chat with Kate's friend while Kate kept blinking at me with a smirk on her face. I got a text message from Sean telling me he wanted to use the bathroom but the door handle was stuck and he couldn't open the door. I went upstairs to check. Kate followed me. I found that the door was actually locked. I was confused I asked Sean and he said he didn't lock it. I started looking for the key that's when Kate quietly handed it to me saying she took it. I was stunned. I opened the door for Sean then I asked her why she locked the door she said that lied to her friend about me not having kids and didn't want her to see Sean. She said it was no big deal since he was sleeping but I was furious. I started yelling at her as she kept shushing me. Everyone started leaving after I yelled at Kate and cussed her out for doing this. She blew up after her friend left and said I was an idiot because most people don't mention kids until after months into dating. And that I didn't deserve her help to move on when she thought I was a decent sane person. I called her stupid and told her to get out of my house. She told me to wallow in my misery and left. Then her friends kept blaming me for making a scene and treating Kate like that especially since she cooked dinner and helped a lot. I never thought she'd do something like that. It's my fault because I should have put an end to it after she started stomping over boundaries and trying to dictate my life. I didn't even know what to tell my son and how to explain what happened. He was confused but thank god he forgot about it now and thought that it was a mistake. I can't let that happen again. And it's not about wanting to help anymore because I feel like she's trying to control other aspects of my life as well. Like what clothes I wear. My Facebook account. How and where I spend my time. Who I talk to. I really am tired of her behavior and what's worse is that until this day she thinks she's in the right and I was undeserving of her support. Kate was never your friend, she saw you as a project at best. You will be better off without her. Good luck in your Kateless future. Kateless future thanks that's my band name now. Any fault you are giving yourself is misplaced. Yes, you could have told her to stop. But you're a father and you've spent a long time grieving and coming to grips with being a lone parent. This stuff happens. People get close and our better judgment goes out the window because we assume they just want the best. It's a totally human trait. Your son is lucky to have you, and you are lucky that she's shown herself to be exactly what she is so you can throw her right out of your life. If she ever tries to come back or to manipulate you in any way, you remember what I said. F. Kate. She isn't worthy of either of you as a friend or otherwise. NTA. I have an 11-year-old son, too. They can be remarkably chill about most things, thank goodness. Mine would have been utterly unfazed about hanging out in his room while I adulted, provided he had his switch and Wi-Fi lol. In fact, if I sent up pizza and some soda, I might have a hard time getting him to come out again. But, Kate sounds unhealthily invested in your life. My actual parents live in our house with us, and even they could not care less who I talk to, what I wear, or who I'm friends with on FB. And this parade of potential girlfriends is shoulder blade pinching icky. Especially if she's having you audition ones that might not be okay with you having a kid. My son is the central human in my life. 
I would never be willing to hide him away. I would not even consider a long-term partner he wasn't a fan of. You did the right thing, here. In no way is this your fault. She is undeserving of your friendship. Cut her out of your life. You and your child don't need someone who is so controlling in your lives. That's some really crazy behavior. Stay away from it. Jesus that's not okay behavior. That is, triangular flag on post, triangular flag on post, I would have kicked her out too, regardless of her help. She is being controlling to an abusive level. Full stop. And now it's gone beyond controlling you go physically trapping your diabetic, and therefore at risk of slipping into a coma if his blood sugar fell, in his room without your knowledge. What if he hadn't had his phone? Also WTF if my friend brought me to a man's house on a blind date meeting I would be incredibly angry if my friend lied about him having a kid. That is first date or even or date info. Dates might not meet kids for a month or two, but they should always know the kids exist. God. I'm livid. I would not allow her in my home again and end the friendship. This isn't a one-time thing, this is escalating abusive behavior. It's not okay. You might not have realized what she was doing to you but now that it's extended to your kid you had the wake-up call you need to cut ties with this toxic person. They may have been your friend, but they are actively harming your family at this point, and have been more of a controlling person than a friend in recent history. This is someone you remove from your life, or they continue their abuse. Your kid is currently being affected by this, even if you think he's forgotten. He is seeing that it's okay for a friend to control you, dismiss your lack of consent, and abuse you. He is learning what she's doing is okay and that that's what friends do. He is learning that it's okay to ignore no and do whatever anyways, whether he accepts that treatment or models it on his friends in the future is up for grabs. You need to make damn sure he understands that Kate's behavior isn't okay and that it is a good thing to get rid of friends who would abuse you or family members. Well, I hope you send her a link to this post so she can read from strangers about how not right she is. This is not your fault in any way. It sounds as if you tried to make it very clear to Kate how you felt without being blunt but Kate didn't care and instead stomped over every boundary you were laying out. You did right by your son, and that's what matters. Kate does not deserve a place in your life as she has zero respect for either you or your child. Opgo no contact completely with her now. Also what she was doing is wrong. She was trying to pull off something who's morally wrong majorly. Kate is not your friend. It is unhealthy for her to be around you and your son. It seems what started out as helping a friend after his wife died has bled into her controlling your life. Whether your son remembers or not what she did, you remember and she wholeheartedly crossed a line. Call her and end the friendship. A real friend doesn't act like your son doesn't exist. Or locks them in a room. And anyone that defended her can go to hell too. It's time to end the friendship. Well the good news is you can put an end to it right now. Let her think whatever she wants. The opinion of a woman like that is irrelevant. Focus on yourself and your son. NTA, that is not support my dude, she's a grade A vagina zilla, you are a bit at fault for had not stop at early emo, but now you have your eyes opened, cut her off your life. F Kate. I don't think he should do that. I think that's what she wants. So she sees you as a helpless individual that can't take care of himself without a woman in his life. Where the F does she get off? I would be incredibly insulted, in addition to endangering your son. She's getting some strange validation out of sorting out your life for you. You need to make it very clear you are fully capable of managing your own life. It just be done. You aren't her accessory. Not the butthole. What the actual F? NTA and you won't find anyone saying otherwise who locks a kid inside a room? And behind their parents back too. You need to cut off Kate completely, she doesn't understand no, wants you to pretend your son doesn't exist and is spewing off lies about dating etiquette. You absolutely need to disclose if you have children or not from the beginning. She told me to wallow in my misery and left. No friend says that. She's the miserable one. Focus on yourself and your kid and do whatever is best and comfortable for both of you. 100. Clapping, NTA. The fact that a friend locked your son in his room because they lied Ab you having a son is straight bullcrap. That's not a friend and obviously you aren't the kind of person to hide your son, for any reason at all. 
that just proves how selfish and inconsiderate that friend is. Once, you're ready to date, you will. And when you do, it'll be with someone worth you and your son. Point blank period. Edit, wording and added a sentence. If CPS had strolled into this house at that moment and found a little boy locked in his bedroom while dad socialized, there would have been major caca. I cannot for a second imagine what this idiot woman was thinking or these people scolding up. A fire? Kid has a seizure? Blood sugar crash? Op said his little one had diabetes, which would most likely be type 1, insulin dependent, in a young boy. I know a man who is a widower because his wife's sugar crashed overnight and her alarm failed to work and she passed. To lock an insulin-dependent child away from the adult eyes who need to check them? I barely like children and I would beat a hose ass for that. This Kate is toxic as F. Being single does not mean being miserable. I don't know why Kate has that idea in her head but if she's willing to go that far to perpetuate it, F her. It's not like he broke a pot and she's trying to find him a new one. Wives and the emotional connections with them cannot be easily replaced through dinners with friends. All of Kate is yuck. NTAX 10000. She has that idea because she's projecting like a goddamn lighthouse. She's most likely single and miserable herself. She projecting like a damn cinema movie. Who locks a kid inside a room? And behind their parents back too. Not only that, but a child with a medical condition that can potentially result in a life or death emergency with a very short fuse, one that can incapacitate the victim so they can't call for help this. She was the one causing the misery. Dictating how someone responds to death of spouse? Check. Insisting they neglect their child's needs? Check. Not taking no for an answer time and time and time again? Check. Locking a child in their room? Check. In what effing way is this supposed to be helping him cope with the misery? And not worsen it? She's the miserable one. Probably. As any childless adult knows, things change when your friends have kids. You may not get to see them as often, or may have to switch to doing more kid-friendly activities. It sounds like Kate resents Sean for this and is projecting. The kid bums her out so she assumes Op, alone in the house with the kid, is miserable. She wishes the kid didn't exist, so she believes original poster should pretend to the world that he doesn't. Her attitude is selfish and incredibly toxic for Sean's mental slash emotional health. NTA. She basically wanted you to pull a bait and switch on any prospective partners and we all know that's an odd thing to do. These girls are supposed to be friends of hers too laughing out loud I can't imagine how that worked out in her head. I mean, that part worked out well enough for her since apparently they're mad at original poster too. They haven't got the full story. They have a Kate version none of which will including locking a diabetic child in his room. Locking a diabetic child in his room. This is super dangerous. Hypothetical fires are one thing, but severe hypoglycemia for a young diabetic locked in a room without help or access to carbohydrates is a real, real dangerous thing. Low blood sugar seriously Fs you up. Luckily, Sean just needed to use the bathroom and had the good idea to text his dad. If his sugars had crashed, it's likely he wouldn't have thought to use his phone, because hypoglycemia is so disorientating. Yeah. One time, I was at a new job, talking to a client on the phone. I was having trouble understanding what he was saying and kept asking him to repeat himself. The next thing I know, all of the other staff are gathered around my desk, offering me Lucasade and stuff. Apparently, the client had hung up on me, and called my boss to ask if I was okay. My boss looked across the room at me, and I was zoned out in sweating buckets. The company secretary called my mom and asked what they should do. It's such a weird state of mind. It's like being in a dream, where everything is vague and confusing and you can't figure out why, but you're awake and trying to interact with the world. Good on that customer for looking out and being understanding. This is such a lovely, heartwarming story. To see everyone being so caring, from your colleagues, to your boss and even the client. As well as your work having the appropriate response. Yeah, that was a great company, staffed by great people. It was a pleasure to work there. These people are step monster material. Big old nope. I'd say when original poster decides he's ready to date, 
he should be looking for the opposite type of person from whoever Kate recommends. If they know what Kate actually did, they all suck. She's probably manipulating and lying to everyone around her to look better. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to be the first to know about Red Rabbit Reader's new videos. If you like our videos, please like them on YouTube and share them with your friends. We welcome your comments below. Press to start another of our videos.